Uh, hello guys, today in this tutorial I will basically show you a Adobe Photoshop clone that I developed in the browser using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This is a demo that you are seeing right here guys. We have a nice little P uh, image editor, something like Adobe Photoshop. So no need to buy the software, you can use this alternative. The link is given in the description of the video, you can directly purchase the full source code. And after you purchase the source code guys, you will get this directory structure. Only this single index.html file will be there. You can basically deploy this application using a simple basic hosting plan. We have the simple JavaScript code in a single file bundle.js. And now let me show you the demo here. So basically, if you go in the index.html, just you need to open this with live server. Just open it in the browser. And now you will be redirected to the screen right here. And you will see the live preview, something in Adobe Photoshop also. You draw something on the screen and you will see the live preview. You can see that. So we can draw something here with any color of your choice. You can change the color. You can pick any color here using this nice little color picker out there. You can even put hexadecimal code here. It also shows you about the 640 or 480 pixel. The resolution of the canvas, it also shows you the mice, mouse position wherever you are moving the mouse and also it shows the resolution of the PDF canvas, you can see that. So basically guys, we also have the option to, there is so many options, you can export this to a PNG file, JPG file, WebP format, GIF format, BMP, TIF. It also shows you the size of the image as well. You can control the quality here uh, while selecting JPG and uh, while you basically degrade the quality the size will suffer and uh, now if you want to export this simply click ok and the file will be downloaded as an attachment so it's a very tremendous editor guys that i developed it from scratch and if you open this now basically you will see that guys the image has been exported and now if you want to edit your images guys edit your existing images there is also the layers if you see guys if I hide my camera here like this just right here you will basically see the layers guys in Adobe Adobe Photoshop you have layers out there in the drop down you will see there are basic layers out there you can delete these layers you can see that you can add a new layer by going to the layer option click on new so the layer will be added right here so whatever you can unhide the hair uh, la layers hide it all that stuff you can perform it so it's a fully fledged editor guys something like adobe photoshop if you have used that software you will perfectly know about layers what are layers in uh, image editors and let's suppose if you want to edit a image guys you can open an individual open a image file or you can directly open it from a webcam also it also offers that option as well and uh, let me go into my directory and uh, let's suppose i want to edit this image so now you can see that guys the image is loaded in the canvas and basically it shows about the information about the image you will see the information 783 by 443 so you will see that it also shows your resolution of the image as well and then guys you can also perform the rotation if you perform here 180 degree the image will be rotated so basically you can rotate the <coughs> this image so you can see that you can perform the rotation you can even decrease the opacity of the image so provide here i think opacity doesn't work and uh, then there is there is this left menu guys something like photoshop so basically you have known if you want to blur the video or oh, sorry blur the image there are so many options out there uh, if you want to sharpen the image you can do that these notifications also show up So, if you refresh the application guys, everything will be gone. You can once again select your image.
you can also drag and drop images as well totally fine so there is basically all sort of tools guys which are available you can crop your images just put a crop section right here you can play with this tool guys if you are in a master of adobe photoshop you will perfectly know all about these tools you can zoom the images right here by using this slider if you want to perform very complex image editing you can do that also you can see that so then you can see that if you click that option the image will be cropped here automatically so let me show you once again if you pick that image basically open that image and there is basically this crop tool if you have put the crop and let's suppose you do only want this portion you don't want the rest portion simply click on the crop option and now you can see the image is cropped right here so the portion the background portion was removed uh, in this way you can crop your image and there is this magic eraser tool guys basically with the help of this tool guys you can automatically see you can uh, remove the background just select all of the portion that you want to remove and this with the help of this magic eraser tool guys that we saw in uh, photoshop so we don't need to pay for this software guys you can try out this free software you can deploy this on website earn a lot of money as well by showing advertisements on your website while users use this software in the browser itself and you can then deploy this on the hosting you can export this image guys on, as a png image click ok and now you can see your image has been uh, the background has been removed it has been replaced by white so if you want to do something like this you can also do it as well by using magic eraser tool and then basically if you, there is also a fill, fill option as well guys if you want to color your image using the specified color that you choose right here you can also do it like this also this is magic eraser tool it's a magic <laughs> and there is a fill tool as well so this will fill out the color of the background color that you selected it's a very good software that i developed guys and you can directly purchase the full source code of this software by going to the description all the links are given you can directly purchase it from stripe.com or you can purchase it from paypal.com all the links are given you can uh, make the payment in indian rupees or united states dollar so all the links are there so check out the full description and then guys we have also got the erase tool as well with the help of erase tool you can erase something here if you don't want it in the image let's suppose i want to erase this i can erase that you can see that so this is a eraser tool so again it will turn it to white color so it will erase something so then we have the brush tool this is a brush if you want to draw something and uh, if you want to select something so it is saying that this layer must contain an image so if you want to do it on the image you can see you can select this portion by using the select tool and there is also a blur tool as well guys if you select this tool and uh, if you want to blur the face you can also do it you can uh, increase the size of the blur tool also the strength as well if you increase the strength then it will blur the face you will see that guys it will blur the face if you want to blur the face you can easily do it using the blur tool inside this image editor so it's a very good uh, thing guys you can control the strength accordingly and uh, so many a times you need to blur the faces of uh, certain images certain faces you can do it very easily so if i pick this image let's suppose i want to use the blur tool and uh, i change the strength 
I want to hide this face. So you can see how easily guys I can hide this. You can blur the picture. So we can now export this and uh, you can also export it to WebP format as well. WebP format basically it's a new a new format which is introduced to optimize the images so basically guys this is the editor and it's a very good editor you can also draw a lot of shapes as well if you want to anywhere in the image you can draw this shapes and uh, there is also a option to draw text as well on the image so So you can place your text anywhere else, you can place it using uh, or uh, you can also bold this text, you can change the color of the text here to yellow. First of all you need to select this. So this is a tool guys and it is a very advanced tool. You can do anything here. You can also control the canvas size here. If you want a bigger canvas size, let's suppose uh, 9, 1280 by 720. If you are designing a YouTube thumbnail as well, this is a very good option. It's a very good alternative for Canva, Adobe Photoshop, all these editors. You can select a preset here and select the layout landscape or portrait and now you can see uh, it basically have this template and you can design any th thumbnail facebook instagram youtube for any social media platform and you can see that so you can control the height You can also have lots of phones out there guys, Poppins font as well, so you can write here any font here. You can see that, so you can even control the size as well, so it's a fully featured, you can see the demo here. And... Uh, so I'm not good at designing guys, so you can play with this tool to design your awesome thumbnail as well. Edit your images, draw out some shapes out there. It totally is a and just do that. So I have shown I think all the tools if uh, any tools are missed you can try out with your own there is this zoom option that I talked about you can zoom in zoom out fit window and uh, one thing I miss guys basically you can apply filters to your images while editing it so let's suppose if I have any image let's suppose if i want to apply some effects to this so lots of effects are there guys and uh, zoom blur effect is also there if you see so all these effects are there you can try out all these effects So very good tool guys and uh, here there is also an undo option as well. 
you can also search for images guys let's suppose you want to search for flower images this basically gives you a basic set of images that you can directly edit or directly do that so there is also a search functionality as well so right here if you see black and white filter is also there if you see first of all it also shows you the live preview of that filter instagram filters as well you can directly apply so it's a fully fleshed uh, adobe photoshop clone guys that i am giving you and uh, the link is given you can directly purchase the full source code and after purchasing it you will basically get the very simple source code this much directory structure it will contain the images and then it will contain the javascript code and this is your html code so very basic guys and uh, this will be directly be hostable you can directly host this on your website directly by a simple hosting after payment you can directly contact me on your email address i will help you if you face any sort of problem in using it or deploying it so thank you very much guys for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video